What is up, guys? Welcome to the Verse Crypto Channel, the most savage Jared Crypto Channel out there. My name is Chaos Chris, and I'll be your host today. Before you're off in this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on bell notifications so we can keep you guys up to date with the latest, greatest news and information in this space. With that being said, let's hop right in this video. So, got another banger, awesome video for all you degenerates out there. We're going to be talking about one of our favorite projects here on the Verse Crypto Channel. The name of that project is equinox and for those guys who don't know equinox is the first certificate deposit token aligned with the seasons it's very similar to hex except it has these seasons where the inflation rate changes over time and it's a very very unique feature behind these uh certificate deposits and we firmly believe here that there's a good potential that this uh project will blow up into the future and also has some really great mechanics behind the store value concept so today um i want to briefly break down uh what this project is for those guys who don't know what equinox is go into uh, some new features that the development team have just recently added and also give you guys a little analysis on the overall price chart because a lot of great stuff is happening right now with Equinox and we definitely want to cover it so you guys are well inform informed of what's going on with this project. So with that being said, let's take a little look at Ruski. Um, so basically like uh, Equinox, um, we have a bunch of videos on this project before, but I'll do a quick brief breakdown for any new time uh, viewers of this project. And for those of you who have never heard of this project before, um, basically it's designed for growth and take the community room. Um, there's these predictable yearly cycles. So basically like um, there's a set inflation rate and you know, Hex has basically like T shares that determines how much Hex is paid out. But instead, what Equinox does is they do a yearly cycle based off of the time of the year or the season. There's a certain percent interest rate and it slowly decreases over time until it flattens out in 2028. Um, there's also a lower inflation rate during the fall season, which calls the harvest season. And part of the reason why it's, it's so low is it gives anyone the opportunity to end their stake. Keep in mind, stakes go on forever and also on top of that depending on the time of the year if you uh end your stake you're going to get charged a massive penalty and the largest penalties occur at the beginning of the year and they're a lot less towards the end of the year so the fall is the biggest opportunity for you guys to you know hop on out of your stake if you choose not to be part of this project or want to take some profits or whatnot it basically gives you a way out since these stakes are endless and there's no sort of emergency in staking and there's no like specified period of time now um if you guys want to learn more about this project um you scroll down to uh read white paper we'll pop up the white paper over here and i want to go down to the uh inflation section of this white paper because this is going to be really really important so right now we're in the year 2022 we're about right around spring about transitioning into summer and so like this past spring there was like a 1.465 percent uh inflation rate and now um that's per day and now it's decreasing to 1.09 percent and then when that harvest season comes around you're going to see that 0.014 percent and basically once we hit year 2028 the inflation rate is going to flatten out at 0.014 percent now the idea behind this uh, utility is that a majority of the inflation occurs at the beginning of the project's life cycle and this is something that hex did right when it launched where a majority of the inflation of the tokens happened at the beginning and then as the inflation starts to cater off we saw massive amounts of price action happening behind the the uh, token and so equinox is trying to replicate this same model but do it in, in a different format in a different way because you know there's multiple solutions to uh this financial problem when it comes to certificate deposits and equinox took a complete different route so um just kind of breaking it down as i said earlier for ending stakes ending a stake is when you want to get your stake equinox specs plus all the interest it has generated since it started a stake can be ended at any time though there are penalties associated to it which are related to the time of year when the stakes are ended when stake is ended and there are penalties the 
those will be applied to the principal of the stake and not the interest. The best time in the stake is during the harvest season from October to December, because during that time, no penalties are applied to ending stake. At New Year's Day, penalties are their highest. They then decrease every day until the first day of the harvest season when they become zero and stay at zero until the next New Year's Day. Penalties start above 99% on the first day of the year and then decrease linearly until reaching 0% on the first day of the harvest season, 273 days after the year started. So we're getting very, very close to this harvest season. And I really want to break this down for you guys because we are in a very, very unique situation with Equinox because a lot of stuff is going on with the market, which we're going to discuss a little bit later on in this video. But also we're getting really, really close to the harvest season. We still got to go through summer, but you're going to start seeing a lot more people maybe try to end their stake or maybe try to hop into this project during this period of time. So I definitely want to take some time to really break down what I think is going to happen in the in the upcoming months with Equinox. But I definitely wanted to break down these two concepts so you have a good idea because these are going to be very, very important, especially with the launch of the bear market in cryptocurrency. Now, um, there's multiple tabs here. There's a dashboard, there's auction, there's stake in their decks. The auctions have ended, so um, you cannot be a part of those anymore. Congratulations to anyone who is in the Equinox auctions. That was a very unique opportunity, and I hope you did very, very well when it comes to acquiring that nice Equinox token. If you come over here to your dashboard, um, it gives you some uh, general statistics behind the token. It gives you a little countdown till uh, days till harvest. And we got about 144 days. It gives you the year, what's the Equinox day, and the daily inflation rate as at of this day. Now it also has this really cool tool where it can break down how much uh, Equinox you hold. It talks about the supply, the stake supply, the pool e Equinox supply, um, talks about the pool BUSD, the total supply circulating, uh, what percentage of the token staked, and um, how much was generated through referrals. And so right now what you can see is a massive amount of the Equinox supply is staked because more and more people want to get that juicy, juicy interest payout. And so if you take 1.1 billion over 1.3 billion, that's more than like, I'll say that's probably more than 75%. Oh, well, excuse me. That's 86.49% of the Equinox supply is staked, which means there's about, we'll say about 15% um, of the Equinox supply is out there on the market being traded. So it's absolutely bananas and absolutely bonkers and just shows you how many people actually believe in this project. Now, kind of going on. Um, so over here on the staking tab, you guys can check out what's going on with your staking and uh, how many number of shares you have and whatnot. And so I wanna show you guys something really, really cool. And I was in the auction, I just put in 50 BUSD. And basically, uh, the principal we got was uh, 377000 from the BUSD, and then we had one referral, and we just kept it staking just to see how much interest we would get. And so far, we have over 552,000 uh, Equinox coins minted through our staking protocol, and then through the second stake, we had 25,000. This is the power of staking and being a part and participating in these protocols. I've already doubled the amount of tokens I hold by just staking this coin, which is absolutely bananas. Um, and so over here, it comes over here, you can see your shares and whatnot. Um, the big thing with shares, is they're very similar to T-shares where basically when you take your Equinox and put into a stake, it's swapped out for shares, so it removes the liquidity from the market. And um, once uh, you sell off your stake or you end your stake, those shares are converted right back into the coins, plus the interest you got from each one of those shares. So that's kind of like the breakdown. It shows you how long you've been, uh, how many days you've been staking this for, and it gives you uh, the overall growth of your stake. Now here you have the option to end your stake, move your stake, or split your stake. Um, I know some people like to split it just so if you want to take a nice juicy payout or whatnot, or you don't want to sell off your entire stake, but only take a portion of it, you can do that right here with these two buttons. Now coming over here to the decks. 
they have something really, really cool that the developers just put in. And basically, if you guys want to come back here to your stake, excuse me, to your stake right here, you can take your stake and actually put it up for sale over here on the decks. And you can go all across it and just click buy. If you want to buy it, you can put in bidding prices. You, you can do whatever you want. And so what, is, what this uh, um, application is doing is it's allowing people to uh, buy and sell their stakes. And it creates a secondary market on top of Equinox. Imagine if Hex had the same concept where I can take a Hex stake and put it out to the market and try to sell it to someone and then um and then basically use that to swap from person to person that would have been a game changer for the entire hex community but um at the time you know the development team uh didn't didn't want to go this route but what equinox is doing is they're going going with a completely different route they're adding this unique feature and i firmly believe that it's going to be very beneficial to the entire ecosystem if you can tell people that hey you can stake your uh eq nox and also you can sell your stake in case you want to get rid of it and so that's going to uh gain more interest and it's also going to encourage more and more people to actually get into this project so that they can just take their stake and sell it so it's it's an added utility that's definitely very needed for a lot of these certificate deposits and i firmly believe it's going to strengthen the entire community and so if you guys come down here you can click list and basically list your stake. Um, I don't really want to sell any of my stakes, so um, I'm not gonna really walk through that, but it's a pretty, pretty uh, simple process. You can just hit list and follow uh, all the options and whatnot. Now, the one thing I want to talk to you guys about is the price. And for those of you guys who don't know, Equinox has been doing absolute numbers. But before I get into the price, I want to hop over to the current state of the market. And so this is going to be very, very important, especially for certificates of deposits. So if I come over here to Bitcoin, what we're starting to see is, you know, we hit a top right around uh, that November date. And then we just been on a downturn ever since then. And so as of right now, we've hit almost... 30,000 and we just bounce right back up to about 32,000 and we're just oscillating at this point. So right now the market, um, you know, there's blood in the streets. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on and there's a lot of panicking. They're selling, there's a lot of FUD. It, it, it's just all over the place. Now, how does this affect uh, Equinox? So when we started, when we saw the first dip right here, for um the for the uh, first signs of the bull run on right around that's right around march april time frame this is th this is right where hex started to blow up and i'll show you right now so we'll go we'll go over here to hex and then we'll get the yearly chart So right when we saw Bitcoin starting to dip in that time frame after, you know, that first initial bull run, we just started to see Hex start climbing and climbing and climbing and then explode to all time new highs. And so the reason why I bring this up and I wish I could put these charts on top of each other is that, you know, this is what's going to happen with a lot of these certificate deposits. So let's go back to uh, Bitcoin just just for uh, the sake of the analysis. So. Like I, like I was saying earlier, right when we saw this huge dip, everyone just started hopping into Hex and then Hex started to explode again. And so this is going to be a similar concept when it comes to uh, Equinox. Now, Equinox is pumping because we're starting to see Bitcoin dip down. and People are finding alternative places to, as a store of value for the gains they made in this past uh, crypto market. And the best place to store your cryptocurrency is going, I mean, to, to uh, store um, your profits from cryptocurrency is going to be in the certificate of deposits. And so right when the market started to go down, Equinox went from 0 0.0001 all the way up to 0 0.006. And if I do my math correctly, that was about a 6x. Let's, uh, let's make sure I'm, I'm on point with that. So... Come on, buddy. Let's extend this up. 
Okay, so we went up to about a 7x from this, from down here, and now we retrace to about a 5x. So we're starting to see Equinox increase absolutely bananas over time. So what I'm predicting is with as the price of Bitcoin continues to fall, a lot of these projects that are moving store value, have certificate deposits, are going to start absolutely exploding just so you can make some passive income on that juicy, juicy interest payout. And so um, we're kind of in this weird phase where Equinox is slowly, slowly growing. But once more and more people see the price performance and the, and the project goes mainstream, we're going to see the price of this coin go absolutely bananas. We're going to surpass this all-time high, and we're going to see all-time high levels that we've never seen before with this project. And so, um, and in addition, we're also getting to the summertime where, you know, you know you're still going to have a significant staking penalty if you decide to sell out of your stake. But also, you know, if you get in right now, then you're going to get a huge ROI on your stake because your stake is going to decrease over time, especially when, once we hit that harvest season. And so this is why I'm saying that more and more people are going to jump into this project right before this harvest season. And we're going to see absolutely awesome price chart and um, analysis and movements with Equinox. Now, um, I'm going to get out of that real quick now let's kind of zoom in here and let's just take a little look ruski at the um overall trend lines um so let's zoom this out real quick but it but boom put one right here so we're basically following, um, I drew this line just to show you guys like a little bit of an average and it's just a quick way to see like the average run up and you can do this by tracing on um, the start of this run up right here. And so right now we're hitting all time highs and we're at a positive uptrend right now. And we had a little bit of a retracement based off of a, a whale just selling out. And um, I'm firmly predicting that, you know, we're definitely going to see a breakout and um, let me put it like right about here. So we're definitely going to see like a little bit of a consolidation. And as this starts to trade sideways, as long as we, as long as we say, stay above that 0 0.0005801, then we're going to start to see a massive breakout to the uptrend. And this is just like a psychological support. So definitely keep your eyes on um, some of these market indicators. You can definitely Google and take a look at like, you know, bull flags and whatnot. But right now, we need some time to pass before we can really assess what the uh, future price uh, projection is going to be. But as you guys have, have seen before, we had a huge run up and then we hit a low right here and we basically bottom out. And we're starting to go to the uh, uptrend after the start of the bull market. So it's definitely great to see the price of Equinox um, recovering. And it's also no surprise that this is happening since you know, more and more people are trying to find ways to make uh, money off their interest since the bull market might be ending or might be in a bearish market for the next couple of months. So um, just coming back, just recapping, um, there's a lot of great stuff happening with Equinox. Um, you know, you can buy and trade uh, your stakes. Um, you know, this is a great buying opportunity, especially since more and more people are going to be looking for certificate deposits projects. Equinox has been already well established. Um, there's awesome utility behind it. And this concept of the seasons is something so new and it has the potential to really, really do well in the cryptocurrency space. So one thing I'm definitely looking forward to, forward to uh, seeing is what happens to Equinox during the, during the uh, fall season. Will there be a massive sell-off because everyone's just trying to get rid of their tokens and sell off and make make some sweet profits or will, or will people use this as an opportunity to buy in and get their uh, self position ready to go for uh the next uh season for the upcoming 2023 as um as my overall thoughts, um, I'm definitely very bullish on this project. And for those guys who have not heard about this project, please check out equinox-token.com. It's a really good site and they have a lot of really great uh, information that can really break down this project and give you an awesome understanding.